Good morning, YouTubes. I'm here at the shop today working on Damien. It's a little 39 Chevy project I'm doing for a customer. I've been working on Damien. And this is what he currently looks like. I've got him corpse from head to toe. Everything's been sprayed down with Super 77. Good stuff. And then I went ahead and covered all his limbs and just Pipe insulation from Menards, one inch pipe insulation. Uh, good old trash bags and grocery store bags worked for them. I got them all base coated in a light blue color. I believe it's a, oh, it's a Rosolium 2X Satin Aqua. So that's his current state. His horns are painted. I have those masked off. I have his eyes masked off. His nose and his mouth because his teeth and eyes are painted. Give a little peek at his eyes. Ooh, glossy red. We'll see those later. Get back on there. But uh, I want to get some paint on them, get them detailed. So that way I can figure out what kind of accessories and stuff I'm going to dress them in. I'm going to give you a good look at them. His arms have been stretched about, I think, three inches from the regular skeleton length. Sit back on top of his head. I love the holes in his skin. Looks more diseased and gnarly that way. That's his tail that I made the uh, made it out of a snake, and you can bend it and twist it around however you want it. But uh, I think I'm ready to get some paint on this guy. Put some pumpkin teeth in his shoulders, make him look a little more evil. Love the bumpy texture on his skin, and then get him painted out, and then get some uh, accessories and get him dressed up. I gotta cover his demon junk. I don't know about putting that in the yard with the kids, so I'll do some kind of like ragged loincloth form or something like that. But uh, my plan is to take some of this, uh, what is it? Rustoleum Satin Midnight Blue. And I'm gonna spray that on him and I'm gonna wipe it right off so that the dark blue stays in all the crevices. And then I'll go back and dry brush him. And uh, then I think I'm gonna top coat him. So let me get my uh, hands free and uh, I'll start putting some paint on this guy. All right, we're back with Damien. I got my midnight blue. I got my shop towel. They don't leave a lot of lint, so I like to use shop towels, not paper towels. Um, you can get them at in a big box of rags. Um, my process for Damien is gonna be this. I'm gonna spray on some blue, and I'm gonna wipe it right off so that all the dark blue stays in the little crevices. Real easy. Just like that. A little more. Then get in there and wipe it right off. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because I'm gonna come back later, I'm gonna dry brush on him. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out his whole body, and then I'll come back and I'm gonna show you what he looks like once I got him based out in the dark blue. All right, we got Damien painted out. I just sprayed on, wiped off. That way those dark blue, that dark blue color is down deep in the crevices from head to toe. Took me about, yeah, maybe 20 minutes to spray on, wipe off, spray a little more on, wipe a little more off. And if you get too dark, you just wipe it right up. And if you feel after he's painted that you come back to him and he's still too dark, you can always go back in and just take a little scuff pad and find an area you think's too dark. Knock some of that paint off and lighten it right back up. And I can always take my original baby blue color and go back in and hit areas if I think they were too dark, but I think he's just fine. I want those dark darks in the pits and in the folds of his body so we can go back and top coat and dry brush over all this. But that was about 20 minutes from head to toe. Like his hands turned out. I got my darkest color down because you want to work from your darkest color out to the lightest colors. And I think I'm ready to go fire up my gun, throw some sealer in it and get him sealed up so we can throw some dry brushing on him. So let me go grab my gun and I'll be back. Alrighty, I got my little uh, mini gun. Thought it'd be fancy today. Sure it stays on. 
I'm gonna seal Damien because it's gonna be easier to cover him with a mini gun than it would be with a rattle can. So I'm gonna seal him up, and then I'll put a couple of coats on, and uh, then we'll come back and do some bright brushing. Wear respirators to be safe. Now, I'm not worried about covering his shoulder spikes or his T spikes. I'm going to go back later and detail his fingernails, his shoulder spikes, his toenails. So I'm spraying right over everything right now. I'm going to give him a couple of coats. Uh, this should seal him. He's also basically already waterproof since it's uh, all plastic bags and glue, so he should be fine in the yard for 30, 40 days around Halloween time. So just a little bit of extra care. Go ahead and seal him up anyways, uh, just so he can stand the rain and the snow and the ice and the heat, because in Indiana where we're at, we get all four seasons in one day. So I just want to make sure he's safe. So I'm going to give him a couple of coats, then I'll come back and we'll do some dry brushing. Alrighty, I got Damien all sealed up, put a couple of coats on him, he's drying up. Now I want to do some dry brushing on him. It's going to basically just be the same process as before, where, except for this time we're not wiping off. I got a nice bright blue color I found, that was pretty cool. I'll make it super dry. Again, I just want to... Hit the highlights, hit the top parts of them. I'm going to go over his whole body. If I don't like any areas, I can always go back to my original base coat, the light blue or the dark blue, and cover him. I'm going to spread this all over. I'm going to do his whole body. So all these nice little wrinkles and little pock marks and stuff stand up. And get some multiple tones on him to make his flesh look a lot more deeper and rotted and bruised and more demon-like. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out his whole body and then I'll come back after dry brushing and we'll see what we got. All right, so Damien's getting there. He's pretty dark, so I thought I'd go back and do little white highlights here and there on him. Bring out some of them dark blues. Again, I'm just super dry brush, hitting some of his highs. So you can see the multiple colors of blues stand out. Kind of going a little bit everywhere. Again, I'm going right over his, his spikes, teeth, just hitting everything. I like this, just kind of highlights the tips and folds of the skin. I just touched on with the brush, his fingers. All right, so I'm gonna hit him with the white highlights. I'll come back, we'll unmask him, and see what he looks like. All righty, Damien's all dry brushed. This is what he looks like. He's unmasked. 
I did his teeth already, did his eyeballs, and put some 5-minute epoxy over him to keep the rain and the elements out of him. He's all dry brushed, looking all disgusting and gnarly. All the way down to his two-toed feet. I can always go back in and add more if I want to. I gotta get the dry dress first, get him some accessories or something. But I wanted to just knock out the majority of his paint. I got a shoulder spice cleaned up. I just took a razor blade and shaved off the excess paint. Again, those are uh, pumpkin teeth from the store Pumpkin Teeth on Etsy. And that's what I use in his mouth as well. That's his back and side. His hands. A little nice texture to him. I think I'm going to wrap his palms in some creepy cloth, maybe. That's what his back and head look like. And I can always do a wash or add more later. I just wanted to get the bulk of his paint done today. That way he can dry and cure. And his other arm and hand. Pretty nasty looking. Alright, let's see if I can kill the lights and see what this guy looks like in the dark. See if he's uh, demon material or not. Alright, the lights are out. Surprise! I painted Damien head to toe with black light paint. Looks like the freaking disco demon. Check him out. Everything glows. His horns glow, his eyes glow, his teeth, his whole body, blue and white. Um, Man, let's see if I can get a closer look. That's a, this is an 80 watt, uh, 80 watt light. Shining on him, LED from uh, Amazon. And man, he just kind of lights right up. His horns, his eyeballs, his teeth. I still got to add his tongue and the rest of his accessories. His uh, pumpkin teeth even catch the uh, black light. And that one green guy is actually a glow in the dark tooth. But I can always top these off and paint these white as well, so. Boy, that's going to be awesome in the yard. I just got to detail his nails. Give him some accessories. But I think that's pretty freaking awesome. Come on, Damien. Well, that's him. That's my uh, Disco Demon. I hope you guys like him. Hope you enjoyed his paint job. I still got to detail him a little bit. Do some accessories. And, uh. Get him dressed somehow. Make a skirt to cover up his uh, non-gender Kendall demon parts. So I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys come back for more. Enjoy.